Um, so last week, uh, Anant from the NUS got in contact with me and wanted to know what it was like uh, for a day of being Grant as president of the University of Portsmouth Students' Union. So here we go. So my day usually starts with a 20-minute walk into work. The day it was particularly cold, so I had to put a scarf on and a jumper, and I listened to Johnny Flynn on the way in, usually pretty relaxing. Then I get in and say pretty much hi to anyone that's about, so there's Emily. Two of my officers are in today. That's Emily just there. Wave, Emily. And this is Mario. Then it's usually for the first of many coffees. Fill up the water, pop the kettle on, lots of coffee in, and more than enough sugar. Ah, too hot. Use the email, email, email while you have spare time. Go Europe scholarship program. 5% off your accommodation booking through Hostel World. Ooh, sounds good. Team Alliance. Team Alliance are getting in contact with me regarding our paperless program. It's not The Apprentice, but it sounds cool. Ooh, University Challenge Reminder. Deadline this Wednesday. Ah, that's an interesting one for the day. I've just received an email from myself telling me about the annual members meeting that I'm giving a presentation at. Then after rolling through about 50 emails, it's time to blow off some steam. So first off, cock back the Nerf gun and shoot Emily. Then it's time to wander around the rest of the building. So pop out of uh, my office and go and say hi to people in the Student Opportunities Centre. Usually we've got a load of students working on some stuff, as well as our um, activities team and volunteering team. More emails. National Student Money Week, which is cool. I'm meeting up with a guy called James Quinn. He's the uh, one of the heads of our student finance department. So I'm going to go and see him. Uh, tomorrow we're going for coffee uh, and we're going to talk about planning for the National Student Money Week, which is awesome. I also have Board of Governors tonight, which means about a hundred and... what's this? About 136 pages of uh, financial reports. Yay! Now I'm working on some trustee stuff. I'm setting up uh, an ethical banking working group so we can sort out all of our finances. Now for some time out of the office, I'm on my way to go and see Sally Hartley, our clerk to the Board of Governors and University Secretary, So, and she's just always good, good fun. Here's a video of a pretty building, and that uh, building on the left there, that's St Andrew's Court. That's where most of the meetings I go to are held. This is University House, where the Vice-Chancellor lives. Hail the lift. Noisiest three-story elevator ever. These are some of our honorary doctorates. And now I have five hours of governors and uh, a dinner followed afterwards. It's only three o'clock and I have to mentally prepare myself to go and sit in five hours of meetings with about 20 other people that haven't probably been students for a long, long time. And I've got to represent 24,000 people's different views. And I can't help but remember how lucky I am to be in this job and to have been elected. So I just want to thank everyone once again for electing me. And I hope I do an outstanding job for you. Thanks very much for watching.